Now, give me the largest piece you have in the box and put it between the plates. Very carefully. All right, Tom, throw the switch. You stay here. I'll see what's going on. Look. What is it? Someone was looking in. You imagined it, maybe. No, no, I saw it plainly. Come on, Corby, we'll look around. There he is. You go that way. Sailing schedule for the Century Steamship Company. S. S. Rockingham. 10 p.m. March 22nd. The Rockingham? Say, that's what was written on that piece of paper we found in the fireplace. Something's going to happen to the Rockingham. Treasury Department had a shipment of gold aboard the Rockingham. This gold has vanished. Robbery of the gold shipment is proof that we're dealing with a criminal and not with supposed freak accidents of nature. Why, there's no telling when it may strike again. What is your theory concerning the Thunderbolt, Lieutenant? It is my belief, sir, that a method has been found to charge an aerial torpedo with an immense amount of electricity, which upon striking its target is immediately released. We have no defense for such a thing. My father is working with scientists tonight at the Warfield Factory Laboratory. I'll join them if I may. Go right ahead.
Oh, hello, son. Come on in. Hello, hello Tom. Tom. Don't let me interrupt. Now, these corner plates will hold a terrific charge of electricity, but nothing to what the torpedo must contain. That is, if it is a torpedo. Now, watch. See, beyond a certain amperage, the plates collapse. In order to ensure success, we must find a medium that will carry an unlimited charge. Signed with the lightning. Stop trying to interfere with my plans or you will be next. Why, this place could be struck at any time. At all costs, this work must go on. I have an instrument at my home used by the Weather Bureau for locating electrical storms. An electrograph? Exactly. With one of those, we'd be warned of the Thunderbolt's approach and have time to get clear. Come with me, Tom, and we'll get it. Meantime, we've plenty to do. Hello? Listen. We're staying and we'll work all night. You'll strike at midnight? Okay. I'll tell the others. You got the lab's position? Right. Well, midnight. My chauffeur will drive you back. <coughs> Wait here for Lieutenant Grayson. Yes, sir. You tell her, Tom. I'll get the electrograph. We've just had a message from the lightning. The lightning? At least that's how he signs himself. At least the electrograph will give us some warning. I hope so. Here it is, Tom. Thank you. Good night, sir. I'll see you off. Be careful. Don't worry, I will. Back to the laboratory. Hurry. Jameson. Every minute counts. Yes, sir. What happened? I, I don't know, sir. I, I was hit from behind. But Tom, he was driven off by... By the man who hit Jameson. He probably doesn't realize it isn't the same chauffeur. We must warn the men at the lab and call the police. Get Miss Janet's car at the garage. Yes, sir. Benson, you get to a phone. Silence, sir. There's no answer. Never mind. I'll take Janet's car. Father, all the tires on my car have been slashed. There's no way of repairing them, sir. And I'll have to get to the nearest phone. There's not one for miles. You won't be safe. They'll try to stop you. I'll go with you, sir. No, you and Benson stay with Miss Janet. These occurrences tonight prove that something is going to happen to the lab. 10.40. I'll be lucky if I can get to a phone by midnight. You turned off on the wrong road. I'm sorry, sir. We need gas. There's a garage just ahead. Get out. Oh! <laughs> Tell that to the Marines. Get some hope. Okay.
This is a gadget that Marine was in such a hurry to get to the lab. <laughs> it was supposed to warn him in case a thunderbolt was heading their way. It was meant the laboratory won't need that or anything else after 12 o'clock. Why, is the light isn't going to torpedo the joint? Sure, at midnight. He wanted to be sure those scientists were there so they could appreciate it. 20 minutes to 12. You guys watch that Marine. I got the report. What's happened to the lieutenant with that electrograph? Well, yes, it's getting late, isn't it? Nearly midnight. He'll be along soon. How would it be if I went out for some coffee and sandwiches? Now, that's a good idea. I'll hurry right back. <laughs> 